The next thing I want to share with you is the seven core part conversion formula that you can use to skyrocket the conversions exponentially on your webinar. There are only seven core levers that you can pull to be able to increase the conversions. And I'm going to share with you starting with the first one. Now, for those of you that watch until the end of this video, I'm gonna be giving you the webinar templates, literally a Google slide doc that's gonna give you a filler template you can fill in with your business information, the audience that you're going for, the core elements that need to be in the slides. I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step -step how to implement this, everything that you need to know to build out your first seven or eight figure webinar and how to automate it, what is the automation that goes into it, how do you amplify this through ads, Everything is gonna be taught for those of you that stay until the end of this video. The most important one out of all the different dials is traffic. Traffic is the number one lever that you can pull and adjust to be able to increase the amount of target audience that lands on your, on your webinar. So the first thing I wanna look at is how you're getting your target audience onto the webinar. How are they registering right now? Are you using a direct advertising that's on social media, LinkedIn, YouTube, Facebook? or are you using a YouTube ad, or let's say, are you doing a website post, a content piece, and on the blog sidebar, they're able to register for your webinar, or are you doing it within the content? How are they getting there, and who is getting onto your webinars? This is one of the core factors that determine the conversion of your webinar, the attendance rate, the drop-off rate, all these different things that I'm gonna get into in a bit. But the first thing you wanna do for traffic is you wanna make sure the ad that they see if you're running an advertising is solid, it's getting great conversions, you're getting a low cost per click, you're getting a high cost per lead. Now the second core factor that we can use to increase the conversions on your webinar is increasing your registration rate. Now the registration rate, once we have people, your target audience going onto your webinar registration page, we wanna increase that conversion rate. Get as many people as possible to register for your webinar. So what that means is when 100 people goes on your webinar registration page you get do you get 20 do you get 30 do you get 40 you get 50 the higher the better because that is what's gonna drive more people onto your webinar and it's gonna lower your cost, especially when you're spending digital advertising. Now, the next thing that's great about this is that there's four other ways that you can increase your registration rate. The first thing that you can do, and it's the most important one, is what is the design of your registration page? Do you wanna change the design? Do you wanna make sure the design fits your target audience? You wanna make sure that it resonates the colors, the structure, how you lay it out, how you're collecting their information, name, email, and maybe their phone number. What is the core thing that you're doing? How many form fields? How is the structure? the color, what is the design, what elements are you including? Those are all things you can do to split test and increase the conversion of registration rate. The second thing you can do is the copy. Your headline that's on the page, all the copy that your target audience is reading, what is it that you're seeing? What is the headline? That's the most important one. The headline on your webinar registration page. What does it say? Does it resonate with them? Does it get a good response? What is the sub headline? What are the bonus points that they're gonna get? Which leads into the next core thing that you can do. Offer them a pre-webinar registration bonus. So what that means is that everyone that goes on the page when they register and they show up for the webinar, they're gonna get a pre-webinar bonus. That could be an ebook, that could be a guide, that could be something right away that you're incentivizing the people to register on the page for your webinar. This is alone is gonna skyrocket conversions and that's one of the other core things. Now one of the other final things that you can do is the times on the webinar. What that means is there's gonna be people that are gonna join the webinar and they're gonna see, are you showing up on the webinar on 1 p.m.? Are you doing it in the afternoon at 4 p.m.? Are you doing it in the evening at 7 p.m.? Or are you doing it in the morning? What is the time of the webinar that they're registering for? That's gonna affect the conversion rate of how many people register. So you wanna make sure that the times that you're showing and what you're gonna show, it fits in with the schedule of your target audience. You wanna give them three options to register for a automated webinar. Now live webinar, you wanna test one time. You can do either morning, afternoon, or evening. Test those three times. But when you do an automated webinar, the ones that work extremely well and I've tested every single time out there, every single day, in multiple different time zones, PSD, ESD, MSD, CSD, whatever it is, the one that works well is you wanna offer on one day, the day that they're seeing the webinar, you do it in the morning. The second day you do it in the next day, you offer it in the afternoon. And then the third day, what you can do is you offer it in the late afternoon or in the evening. What this does is that you're allowing people to register an automated webinar. Let's say today is Monday. You allow them to register on Monday in the morning. You allow them to register on Tuesday. 
in the afternoon at 1 or 2 p.m. and you're allowed to register around 5 to 6 p.m. after they get off work on the Wednesday of that day. And then when you set up an automated webinar, they can see the schedules, they can see that the days, whatever day they go on, the next two to three days will show a morning, an afternoon, and evening time. What this does is it future paces the schedule and also gives you the right times that you need to show them. They can choose if they are more available in the mornings, if they're more available in the afternoons, or they're more available in the evenings. These three times capture every single time that you're allowing. So again, that's 10 a.m. in the morning, that's 1 or 2 p.m., both works really well, or you can do 6 or 7 p.m. Now the third core lever that we want to pull to increase the conversions on our webinar is the show up rate, or otherwise called as the attendance rate. Now in order to increase this, there's three core ways that are most effective. The first way that we can do this is we want to introduce a show up bonus. Now what a show up bonus means is that we want to tell the people that register for the webinar to show up for the webinar and get this bonus. And when they stay until the end of the webinar, they're also going to be receiving this bonus as well. We not only want them to show up, but we want them to engage, to consume the content, to watch the stories, the testimonials, and eventually see the compelling offer that you created or crafted for them, and they are able to go through all the way till the end. The second thing we can do is the pre-webinar sequence. This is the most important fundamental sequence you must have, where you essentially send them emails, you send them bot messages, or you can send them a specific message that reminds them that the webinar is coming up soon. So for example, let's say someone registers on Monday and then they're about to see the webinar on Tuesday in a short period of time. You wanna make sure you have a sequence that's set up that sends them three core things. The first email is to confirm that they've been registered for the webinar and show them the date, tell them about the bonus that they're gonna get and when they show up on the webinar. And that's just a simple reminder. That's the first email. The second one that we wanna show them is we wanna tell them that they're gonna be able to see a video case study, video testimonial of someone that showed up on this webinar and the amount of content that they learned changed their life. So essentially, it's almost like a video testimonial and case studies of selling the attendance rate of the webinar. Why should they come to this webinar? Why should they attend the event? Essentially, you wanna show that through a case study via video, and if you can only collect one, that's good enough. But if you wanna be able to amplify this, you can have two to three that talk about how great it was to show up on your webinar and attend it, how much they learned from it, what value they got from it, and then what else, how it helped them achieve the results they got, and also how they overcome the problems. The third thing that you can do is, again, it's a very quick reminder, reminding them two to three hours before the webinar that they should attend right away. Now, you can introduce, again, using text, the mobile apps, that they can actually send a message to if they enter the phone number on the registration page, to send them a text that tells them to remind them to show up on the webinar in 30 minutes, or one hour or four hours, you can set the times, but for the emails, the ones that work the best are as soon as they register, eight hours before the webinar and one hour before the webinar. That's usually the sweet spot that you wanna to get to get someone to go onto the webinar. Third core thing to increase your show up rate is to show an actual ad, a remarketing sequence where someone actually, when they register, they see the thank you page of your webinar, you were able to pixel them, let's say, and you're able to get that data, then you can remarket to them on Facebook, on YouTube, on Google Display, on cross-advertising networks, but usually you wanna pick two to three core social platforms that they're on, and this remarketing ad does one core thing. It reminds them, and it sells the value of attending the webinar. So it could be a short three to five video, say something like this, saying that, hey, John, Julie, thanks for registering for the webinar. I'm extremely excited to be hosting this for you. What I wanna tell you and remind you is that what you can expect is you can expect these outcomes, these results. When you attend the webinar, you're also gonna get a show up bonus. The cap rate on this webinar is about 500 or 1,000 people. I wanna make sure you show up early, five to 10 minutes early, you get onto the webinar, you get ready to have a notebook in front of you, you're ready to take notes, you're excited, you're gonna get the bonuses. This is an example of something that you can say on that video, and then it can be short two to three minutes, and then it'll remind them to go on the webinar and sell that webinar attendance rate. Now, the fourth core leader that we wanna pull is the dropout rate. So what that means is that when someone attends your webinar in the first five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, when we break up your webinar into five, 10 minute chunks, we can see that each milestone, there's gonna be a certain amount of people that are gonna leave your webinar, they're gonna drop off. And the goal of this is what we wanna do is we wanna make sure that everybody that attends the webinar or the maximum amount of people stay until the very end of your webinar. They stay all the way and they don't drop off. Now it's impossible to get 100% show up rate, attendance rate, and stay until the end rate, but what we wanna do is decrease the amount of people that drop off. And the core way that you wanna do this is on one of the webinar slides, you wanna include a slide where you promise them when they stay until the end of the webinar, what are the outcomes that they're gonna get 
throughout the webinar. What are the top four to five results that they'll see? What are the top four to five challenges that they're gonna overcome? You put this on one slide, that's the first core thing. The second core thing you wanna do is you wanna tell them what are they gonna get when they stay until the web end of the webinar. We talked about the results and the outcomes and stuff, that's the intangibles. We wanna talk about the tangibles now. So for example, you give them a stay until the end bonus, you tell them that there is no replay for this webinar. They can only get a replay for those that stay until the end of the webinar. Now, the other thing that you can do to wrap this up is you can say at the end of the webinar, there's gonna be an exclusive Q&A with you where they can ask any questions related to whatever it is that they want answers to, but that's only at the end. So you leverage the point where you use your results, the challenges, and you leverage them using the replay and you leverage it using the Q&A and also the bonus. These five core ways, when you implement them effectively, will increase the amount of people that stay until the end and lower your drop-off rate. Now the fifth core part to this is the engagement rate. And what we wanna do with the engagement rate is we want them to make sure that the audience that's going on your webinar, they're staying engaged with you. The more interaction there is, the more focus and attention they're putting on your webinar, the value that you're giving them, and also it shows that they're gonna stay until the end for a long time. So how do you build this engagement rate? There's two core ways. The first way that you wanna do this is you wanna prepare a simple worksheet a simple step-by-step -step worksheet that's one pager and it fills in the blanks of certain parts that you're gonna cover on the webinar. It's gonna answer these questions. That's one of the ways that you can do this and also offer as a pre-webinar as well. So when they go on the webinar, they can type it on a doc or they can print this out and they can write down and fill in the blanks of the core points that you're gonna be teaching them on the webinar. This is gonna keep them engaged. And even throughout the webinar, as you're presenting the webinar, you can tell, hey, this is the core point. If you see number two, number three on your worksheet, Fill this in because I just shared this point with you and you can get them to actively participate in it. When you involve people, you're able to keep their retaining their mind and also their focus on you. When you just ramble on, you just share with things, you just teach them and stuff and you're trying to lecture people, you don't get that much engagement rate. You wanna involve people as part of a group activity almost throughout this webinar. That's one of the key fundamental differences of being of building a successful, very thriving webinar versus a webinar that has low energy and doesn't really engage people. You wanna involve people, you wanna communicate with them almost one-to-one, -one, like a class almost. The second thing that you can do to be able to increase engagement rate is to make sure that as you're presenting the webinar every single time, you ask them a question, a very simple one. Are you excited about to learn how to be able to lose weight? Are you excited about how to learn how to build your muscle? You keep asking these simple questions and then you can tell them to type yes in the comment box. Tell, tell them to interact, type comments, ask questions, interact with everyone as you're going through the webinar. You wanna be able to build that engagement rate by asking them simple questions and getting them to do actions throughout based on the content that you're teaching them. So you're building interactivity throughout the webinar based on what you're teaching them. That's one of the most powerful things that you can use to be able to build that engagement rate throughout the webinar. Now the second to last core dial that we wanna make sure we optimize for is the attendee to offer click rate. So what that means is that when someone goes all the way and they make it to the part where you're presenting that compelling offer, we wanna make sure that once they go to that part, they're going and you're presenting the offer, they click through and they go onto your purchase page to be able to see and buy your product or your service. Now how do we do that? The core way that we do this is we wanna focus on introducing and putting all the bonuses that you promised them to, for them to stay until the end. Let's say your show up bonus, the replay, the Q&A, whatever it is, you wanna offer that on the purchase page of your product or service. So that means you're gonna get a bunch of people, everyone that's still attending, to click through on the purchase page. This, what this does is that if you think about it, if you only offer your purchase page, only the people that are interested are gonna to click to go onto the page. But when you open the bonus page and you put all the bonuses on that page as well, then you're also gonna get a lot more people that want the free stuff that you're offering them and also the bonuses to go on that page as well. So you're gonna get a lot more people on the page and the more frequently they're gonna see your offer, the more they're engaging with it, then you're gonna get a higher conversion rate and a lot more traffic to your purchase page, which is naturally gonna increase the amount of conversion, the purchases, the sales that are coming through on your webinar. So that's one of the core things that you can do, attending to click through rate. At the same time, as you're presenting and you're about to bring up the offer to them, you wanna make sure that you're getting them to click, get them to go on their page, get them to make the decision, buy the product or service, encourage them, and don't pressure them, but encourage them to go on, give them reasons why. And this is where the closes are extremely powerful that I covered earlier in the structure of the webinar. Finally, we come to the most important core elements of increasing your conversions and sales on the webinar. Now this is the webinar conversion page and it's the most important page that you're gonna be able to optimize to increase your sales. Now on the webinar conversion page, when people click off your webinar and then go on this page, the whole goal of this is to get them to take out their credit card, 
put it in the details and order your product or your service and pay for it and join your community. So the best way to do that on this page is you wanna make sure that you're split testing on this page to get the highest conversion rate. So you wanna make sure that it's simple, clean, intuitive, and easy to use. There's no complex elements on there, but there are some key elements that you want to have on this purchase page. You wanna have at least three video testimonials of customers that already bought from you. They attended the webinar just like the person that's going on this page right now. They saw the product or service, they bought it, they got results with it, and you want them to share it with that. You want them to talk about why they bought the product or service. What were the objections that they had in their mind? How did they deal with it? What was the logic or the conversation that they had in their own mind and why they moved forward with the product or service? You want them to answer all the objections and the challenges that your target audience might have right now at this point as soon as they're on the purchase page. And they answer it, they engage, they build that synergy as they're watching the videos, it moves them towards the conversion of actually buying your product or service. The next thing that you wanna do is one of the most important ones is you wanna have a Q&A, again, at the bottom of your purchase page that addresses the most pressing concerns that someone has before they're about to buy your product or service, right below the checkout page. At the same time, right below the Q&A, you wanna have your bonuses. That is a spot where you wanna have the bonuses that you promised them at the beginning of the webinar with the, uh, with the bonuses and also the anything that you wanna give them. And then that's where the place after they scroll down the video testimonials after they've seen the checkout page, after they've seen the Q&A, they see the bonuses. That's when that's the perfect spot to be able to get them to go down and scroll through everything before they see the bonuses. Now, the next core thing that's extremely important for you to implement in order to get increasing conversions post-webinar is really the post-webinar sequence. Now, this sequence, you can build this out with some simple email automations. And what you can do is you wanna include some emails on the video testimonials that they may or may not have watched on the purchase page. You wanna send them the closes that you said for the if they all if all this product or service did for them was this, would it be worth it? So you do that through the email sequence, essentially people that attended and then they showed up on the webinar, you send them through this week long sequence, this one week sequence, where you send them video testimony, you send them the closes, and then at the very end of the emails, you send them uh, closing uh, emails. So for example, you have the first email being, if all this product did for you was this, would it be worth it? And they didn't, and they, and they attended as well. Now for those that showed up and they didn't attend, what you wanna do before these seven emails are sent is you wanna send them a re replay. For those that didn't attend, they didn't see the webinar, but they registered, send them a replay and on that page, you keep it very simple. You have the replay, you have a headline, and you have a call to action button and a timer for them to buy. And you want that button to show up when they watch to the point of the webinar where you are presenting the offer. Now you can build some simple pages like this through your developer on your website, or you can build this through a website like ClickFunnels, lead pages, Unbounce, whatever page, uh, technology software you can use, all the simple tools out there work. Just use it, build out a simple page. What's most important thing is the copy and the webinar itself. The main value is the webinar. That's what you wanna focus on. So that's the final core element that you can use to increase your conversions. Two cool parts that's really gonna amplify this post-webinar process, as I mentioned before, you can use a session at the end, is that you wanna address three core things. The first thing that the sequence should do is answer the objections, the challenges, and the obstacles that your target audience is facing from buying your product or service. The second thing you should do is you wanna address three core parts of their mental behavior. You wanna address their logic, you wanna use an email and talk about why it's logical for them to move forward with your product or service. The second thing you wanna do is you wanna use emotion. You wanna talk about emotionally why they should get invested with your product or your service. And then the last thing you wanna use, and you wanna use fear. You wanna talk about what is the thing that they're gonna lose if they don't invest with your product or your service. So emotion, logic, and fear. You wanna use all these three elements in your messaging and communication with them in the post-webinar process. Now there are a ton of people that are using webinars to be able to teach the material, to be able to convert leads into sales in all kinds of different formats and all different types of purposes and end goals. For example, Neil Patel before was running a webinar on his website selling the advanced marketing program and he was teaching a lot of educational content. He had a different format, different structure, and different style. And even for example, if you're doing selling consulting, you can go on Sam Oven's website. Sam Oven sells a consulting program teaching people how to get into consulting. Or even for example, you go on LinkedIn. LinkedIn has a ton of educational webinars. So there's all these different types of formats. And even on my website, benzasun.com, on Digital Marketing University, there's a lot of educational webinars and content teaching you how to 
generate more traffic, how to generate more leads, how to generate more sales. Now don't sell a product. The only thing is the educational piece to add more value to you. So you can see, you can use webinars for education. You can use it to convert leads into sales. You can use it to indoctrinate people to add more value. You can even use it if you're a service business and then at the end you can get them a simple call to action to book a time with you or book a strategy session, whatever it is, book a time with you to get them to learn more about the services that you have. There's so many different ways that you can use the webinars to be able to convert your target audience into something, let's say a customer or client or indoctrinate them. I would even say that webinars are the most powerful way to be able to show people that don't know anything about you, they don't like you, they don't have to trust, to build that relationship almost instantly through a presentation style. It's something that you should include at the very beginning of your marketing online and be able to show it to your target audience. Now, I wanna thank you for sticking with me until the end of this video since you're watching this. I know this video is extremely long, but there was a lot that I wanted to share with you because you can see in order to build a successful business or even a webinar for your business as one main conversion channel to increase your sales and revenue online, it takes a lot to build this out. So it's not something I can share with you in a short five to 10 minute video. So I wanna thank you for staying with me up to this part if you watched this far. Now what you can do as promised, you can go on to Digital Marketing University, there's gonna be a link here. You click on there, you go there, you can see an expanded post on the video that you just watched. That's gonna give you actual images, step-by-step -step templates, everything you need to know, and even a slide, a Google slide template for you to get access to, to implement this eight-figure webinar, make it easier for you, easier for your team to implement this, and also all the nuances, the principles, and additional stuff that's built on the conversion principles, and also real-life practices that it takes to build an even more successful webinar. And this post is also gonna be updated, on the website, so go there, check it out. Now, three core things I want you to do, I want you to like this video right here, like it right now. It tells me that you enjoy this content I'm producing for you. It gives us a motivation to keep going. And the second thing I want you to comment below, let me know what you thought about this video, what any questions that you have, are you gonna prepare a webinar, what webinar are you gonna prepare for, how are you gonna structure your webinar, you can comment below and I'll get back to you personally. The third thing you should do finally, the most important thing is subscribe to this channel. It's one of the fastest growing YouTube channels on there for entrepreneurs that want to grow their businesses online. And I want you to join the community. I want you to subscribe. You can see my face somewhere right there. I want you to subscribe to the channel. And thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.